Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are revisiting 2012. 2012 is a movie that has been released in 2009, not 2012. I nearly wanted to make that mistake. Um, Roland Emmerich is the director. Now, Roland Emmerich for me, I know him as di uh, basically directing like disaster movies. He's directed The Day After Tomorrow, which is one of my favorite disaster movies ever. I'll have to revisit that on the channel. Let me know if you want me to down below. But yeah, 2012 is a movie that basically is all about the end of the world. Like, I remember being in 2012, like nine years ago now, and I remember the whole like, oh, the world's gonna end on the 21st of December, 2012. That's like the 21, 12, 12, um, yeah. And the film basically picks up on that. It picks up on what we all thought back then, well, all the gullible ones of us, like me, uh, all actually thought, and it actually plays out what could have happened if it did come true. The movie, though, does star John Cusack as the main guy. He's obviously, you know, like normal disaster films. Father, split up from his wife, he's got two children there's a stepdad involved and now he's playing the dad that's gonna save the day because at the beginning he was a low life plot is not very good like in terms of that it's just so like it's already been done before you know what I mean so there's that going for it they're the main family in there there's also uh, Chitwell Ijafor I can't know if I said his name right but he has starred and he won an Oscar for best actor in 12 years a slave he plays like the science guy and he's like working with the president the president is um, I remember this at the time as well this is played by Danny Glover who is a black actor obviously amazing actor but he was obviously portraying Barack Obama at the time 2009 was just after um, I guess you know Barack Obama became president in 2008 and one that I actually forgot was in this film is Woody Harrelson he plays like this crazy guy who's like on a radio like um, you know saying that the government's a conspiracy and all this and I actually forgot he was in this film he was insane really really good but 2012 how does it hold up I'm not gonna lie I'm revisiting this film on 4k and you can't notice the difference. The only thing good about the 4K uh, for me was the Dolby Atmos. It comes with the Dolby Atmos track. Unfortunately, that's not on the Blu-ray version. You just get uh, the DTS HD 5.1. But the Dolby Atmos was insane. There's a scene where there's a car driving down a street and there's loads of things coming on, on top, etc. They're also flying an airplane. Uh, there's also a plane that goes above them or helicopters and that was like above me. So the Dolby Atmos, if you've got a system that has all height channels and stuff, you will, you will hear good good uh good response times in that so yeah that's the only good thing about this version for me the film itself though meh it is what it is it's it's a bit boring like it's forgetful i actually watched this about five days ago so i kind of didn't more even want to do this video really <laughs> because normally when i want to record a video on a film i do it straight away because i'm excited to do the video but 2012 for me was just one of those met titles you know i'm happy i picked this up on like a two for 28 deal so i paid 14 for the blu-ray but i had it through like my employee of the month thing so i'm happy to have it in the collection like it's a good disaster movie and also a good um like demo worthy thing for my speakers and stuff but as a film would i recommend it probably not it's like subpar some of the effects are quite cool but you know it it's it's just a predictable movie you know and if you haven't seen it for a few years or you've never seen it before you'll watch the first hour and you'll know how the last hour is going to end that's the type of film it is and you know that's that's it my review though my rating of this film i'm gonna give it a four out of ten just below average i gotta give it some points for the dolby atmos work that they did on the 4k remaster in here and as i say the the 4k you can't notice a difference i couldn't notice a difference it had a bit of grain on there it wasn't as sharp as you may maybe get now like new releases are you know it is a release that's out in 2009 so you've got to give it that but as i say the story doesn't really hold up well and you know it's average at best but below average so 4 out of 10 fair score and there is my revisited video of 2012 thanks guys stay tuned for more and i will see you of course in the next video coming very soon stay tuned goodbye